Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm gonna show you my uh, newest uh, project. Uh, it's uh, basically a pendulum, but I just went crazy on the, the design of it. Um, first of all, there's a circuitry. It's basically a uh, Bedini type circuitry, nothing special there. The only difference is I have over there a diode and because of that diode you can put back the uh, back EMF back into the source battery without the system slowing down. I have here two meters input uh, coming back from the back EMF and input from the battery, the source. Both are uh, 100 milliamps. Uh, like I said, it is a pendulum, it's not easy to see, but if I do this, you get the idea. I made it in such a way, let me put it like this. Yes, I put a lot of generator coils on it, that's typically me. I have uh, three over here, three over there, three on the back side, and also three over here. And for the time being, I just finished this product. I have some, uh, some LEDs and over here, yellow, red, yellow, yellow, red, yellow. And also on the back side the same, yellow, red, yellow, and yellow, red, yellow. So in total I have like uh, 12 LEDs uh, lightened up. There's the, there's the back side of it, very simple. I'm using a uh, video head uh, bearing, very nice. I have very large neodymium uh, magnets over there because the uh, movement is not that fast. So you need a lot of magnetic field to produce yeah, a little bit of energy. Uh, other than that, it is basically a pendulum. Uh, yeah, I just went crazy on it, that's all. I'm gonna run it on this battery over here, which is my, uh, yeah, around 12.8, something like that. And let me connect the leads, one over here. I have it adjusted, so it runs around average of 40 milliamps input, and I'm getting around 30, uh, 32, 33 milliamps input back from the back EMF. It's not very simple to see because it's a fluctuating. So that 40 million inputs, it's an average. And the 32, 33 get back is also an average. Let me connect the other lead. Stop it for now. Here it goes. Yeah. Now you see that it is a, a basic pendulum setup, just my design and the way I wanted to build it. This is also one of those projects I wanted to build a long time ago, but never got to it. So this is, is my summer 2014 project. This is the base. Voltage is now. 12.7 as you can see milliamps input milliamps back to the source it's an average of 40 milliamps and over there average of yeah maybe 32 33 back so it's around 70 to 80 percent efficiency and of course the LEDs are lighting up at this speed of the, uh, that, uh, how you call that, that beam swinging around, there's around one volt coming out of these coils. I will turn it around. That's pretty heavy, as always, man, my stuff. Here you can also see the LEDs. Yeah, that's pretty pretty The gap between the magnets and the coils are pretty, pretty small. Let me turn the lights off, so you can see. Now you can clearly see the LEDs in the dark. 
the way they move is the way the beam is also moving now you can see it left right left right yeah and it's, uh, the LEDs you see now is the back side if I come to this side let me try to turn it I need to stop making things so heavy that's for sure this is the front side LEDs on the top at the bottom and here you can see both of them so my camera not my camera my uh, camera for my wife or better yet my lady is pretty damaged I see over here time to buy her a new one anyway just want to show you this and of course the next step will be I want to put nine of these coils in uh, series to get up to the voltage of the uh, battery uh, I hope to get a bit higher than that maybe if I use O12 I will but I'll see but I really want to have three to light up some LEDs and of course I will put the tree also in series and a capacitor to collect the energy and then hopefully the LED will light up steadily and not blink it like it is now one more time uh, input is on the right side left side is uh, output from the back EMF back into the source so yeah, average of 40 input and average of 33 maybe, not more, something like that back. So around 80% efficiency and hopefully those LEDs, not LEDs, the coils uh, will give me enough maybe to get around 90%, we'll see. For me it doesn't matter if it gets 90% or not, I just like to build it. Yeah, the way you want it and whether it works good or not nah, that doesn't matter as long as like as I like it and have fun with it that's all that matter and that's the way it should be yeah one more time in the dark the front side yeah you get the idea So the next step will be yeah, putting all 12 or 9 in series to a capacitor. I have to figure a good value of the capacitor of course to collect the energy at a certain frequency. Put it on the source battery through this meter of course and see what we can get. Hope you enjoyed it and as always thanks for watching.